Good afternoon, honorable representatives. My name is Zachary Conover, and I'm a Christian who leads a weekly ministry on behalf of unborn children in the state of Arizona outside of local abortion clinics in my community where we preach the gospel and offer help to those who are actively considering the murder of their own children. I submit to you that up to this point, the legislation proposed to protect them has done nothing more than regulate this issue as health care rather than criminalize it as murder. In our own homicide code, Arizona law specifies that an unborn child at any stage of development is a human being, and if you kill it, you can be charged with up to first degree murder. Furthermore, as you heard, Arizona revised statute 13-3603 states that anyone who seeks to procure the miscarriage of a woman's unborn child by any means will be subject to prosecution. I am calling upon you today, our representatives, to not only obey God's law, but to enforce current Arizona state law and establish equal justice for those who are being oppressed and act to ensure that they receive the same protections as any other citizen of this land in accordance with our nation's constitution. There is a fiction that we all have believed for far too long, and it has cost us the lives of millions of unborn children. It's the lie that the Supreme Court has ruled, and all that we can do is obey. However, our state was not meant to be an implementation center for unjust or immoral law, policy, or court opinion. Our Constitution grants legislative power to Congress alone. Roe v. Wade was based on false premises. It is therefore void of no force, and it is to be ignored. You have a duty to maintain this state's authorities, rights, and liberties. Therefore, I charge that it is your right and your duty to not follow a federal court into such wicked disobedience to God and our original system of government as to deny the most defenseless among us the right to life. Your Lord demands justice. If you work to protect your unborn neighbors, I want you to hear me. I will support you. I will stand with you no matter what comes. But if you will not, I will do everything in my ability to change your political climate until the unborn children of this state receive the same protection as all other image bearers of God, just like we prayed at the beginning. You've been warned today that when you stand before God, the judge of all the earth will not dismiss or delay justice in your case. It is my duty to inform you that there is only one way to escape this justice, and I want you to hear it, and that's by turning from your sin in faith to the King of Kings, Jesus Christ, so that you receive forgiveness, peace with your Creator, and the gift of eternal life. But be warned, this King demands your obedience. He commands you to end abortion now. Thank you. Thank you.